The cost of IT in business can be staggering. From hardware and software expenses to services like internet and phone, you don't need to spend a fortune on IT to succeed. If your organization spends more than $500 monthly on any service, or you're considering signing a long-term contract, IT Enabled can help you manage your technology and minimize your costs. Contact us today to schedule a free consultation. IT Enabled, we're here to help. Hi, I'm Tara Watson Watkins, President and CEO of the Lufkin Angelina County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the Connect Podcast, connecting business to the community. I'm here today with my co-host, Blake Polina with BP Media Group. This week, we have Wendy Walker and Will Price of Cadence Bank here on the podcast to talk a little bit about the big change that's happened, the name change that they've done, and some really cool ways that they're involved in the community here. Well, we're excited to have Wendy Walker and Will Price from Cadence Bank with us today. Thanks for joining our podcast. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, and I think it's the first time both of y'all have been on the podcast. It is. Is that right? Yes, me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why don't you give a little bit of background about each one of you, and then we'll talk about Cadence Bank. I'll go. Okay. I'm uh, Wendy Walker with, of course, Cadence Bank. Uh, I have two sons, a uh, soon-to-be senior and a soon-to-be first grader. I know. God love you. Oh, my (laughs) goodness. Um, And so my, you know, I'm pretty busy with those two boys and, uh, you know, just enjoying enjoying life and working for Cadence Bank. I've been there about two years now from a previous bank and uh, I love it. Where are you from, Wendy? Nacogdoches. Okay. So mm-hmm. I graduated Nacogdoches High School in 99 and did my undergrad at uh, SFA, Axe and Jacks. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, and then I ended up in Lufkin working for a State Farm agent okay. and State Farm Bank and then, uh, you know, got into the banking world and uh, have loved it ever since. Good. Great. What's your, what's your role at Cadence Bank? My role is I am assistant vice president Mm -hmm. of the retail market. So I uh, run both locations here in town, the one over by Academy and the one across from the Woodland Heights Hospital. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Will, how about you? All right. um, William Price. And I've got uh, 13, 15 year old boys, uh, Thunder and Lightning. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Keep me busy. And I've been with Cadence Bank, was Bancorp South, like we talked about, um, for five years. Prior to that, I was in agricultural lending. Um, I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, for a few years. And prior to that, I inspected poultry farms for seven years. Really? Wow. Yeah. And Very then the cool. seamless transition into commercial banking. We just literally had a talk about chickens. We did. Hey, right? I, could, yep. I could offer a lot. I uh, graduated from SFA poultry science major. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you're my chicken guy now. Like, Man. I'm hitting you with all I'm the chicken it. questions. Blake has fancy Bring chickens. It. Bring it. They're it. very bougie. Yeah, we have three chickens um, that we just got. They're bougie chickens is what okay. we call them. They're very fancy. Uh, don't ask me what the breeds are. My, my wife Amber could tell you what they are, but they're they're picked for what they're going to look like when they get older. They're brooding right now, so we'll oh, nice. Nice. see how how that goes. But yeah, it's very so cool. To learn about people's background. I history. know it's you so never different. Know. You never know where we're going to end up. That's right. Yeah. It's so different. And I have to give Will a shout out. If you have ever seen any Lufkin event, if there's a picture of a Lufkin event going on, Will's probably in that photo. <laughs> like, yeah, Will yeah. finds his way into every community. Thing. I try. I try. You got to be uh, out there. Yeah, he's Will does a, a, a master class in putting yourself out there in the community for sure. That's awesome. Well, so, tell us about Cadence Bank. Well, I have been with the bank two years this month. Very excited. Um, so recently we did do a name change. Okay. We went from Bank Corp South, which we've been in the, the market since 2000 here. Um, I'm sure you guys do remember that in Nacogdoches it was Fredonia and then it switched to the big bad Bank Corp South. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then we came here. But uh we, we ended up changing our name. We merged with uh, Cadence Bank, but we were the purchasing bank. Uh, okay. Nothing's mm-hmm. changed, gotcha. nothing that way. We just wanted to make ourselves more locationally able to go anywhere in the country we yeah. would like to. And the name, yeah. we just wanted to give us more of a, yeah. a jumpy name, I guess. Less, yeah. less regional sounding. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Cadence Bank, Big Bank, uh, Bank Corp South, Big Bank, Bank Corp South was the, was the purchasing bank so really our process hasn't changed okay. um and now we have the assets of cadence bank which is great they're in some larger markets mm-hmm. cool um you know i had never noticed mm-hmm. cadence bank until you oh, switched yeah. here yeah. and then driving i was like oh there's a cadence bank mm-hmm. yeah um you know i just don't pay attention to things like that yep. when i'm yeah. driving through yeah. other towns same way yeah. same way yeah i know some you know in houston they're all over mm-hmm. and uh dallas fort worth and austin area and all the way to Florida. Okay. Someone needs to write a book on the naming process of banks. It's yeah. so interesting. Like oh, first, yeah. 
first fifth national bank or whatever. <laughs> it just the bank naming gets really deep when, in the way that you guys do that. Well, very cool. That uh, answers a lot of questions. So tell us a little bit about uh, the bank locally. So what it does community wise and what all you guys do there. So one thing was I, I did work at another bank before and Joe Rich called me up and said, hey, would you be interested in coming to talk to me about a possible job? And I said, you know, I'm pretty happy where I'm at, but of course. And he he talked to me and he said, but, you know, this bank does a lot of community involvement. And I know that's something, because Joe knew me from before, that's something that you've always wanted to do. You want to be out in the community. You want to be out volunteering. He goes, I will give you that opportunity if you would come work for us. I will I will let you go and, and, and volunteer or be on any boards you choose. And that is one thing that he has definitely let me do. Um, I know you guys have probably seen me more out in the community in the last two years than you have in the last 15. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so that's one thing that, you know, Cadence does well in the community is it lets me and Will and, and you know, other team members, Malcolm Deason and, and even Joe Rich, uh, Christy Gay and uh, Mark Moore, we are all on multiple boards. Mm-hmm. We all are involved in many community events um, and we love doing it. And Cadence gives us that opportunity, whether it's mm-hmm. through sponsorship or through just our time to help out the community. I love that. Mm-hmm. So. Very, very beneficial to the bank. And they they realize that people want to do business with people they see out in the community helping out. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're involved with Habitat for Humanity. Um, I know you're Super involved. Junior Achievement, yeah. uh, Boys Army. and Girls Club, Salvation Army, uh, Texas Forestry Museum, mm-hmm. uh, the Walk for All Timers, mm-hmm. um, Chamber of Commerce. That's Chamber right. of Commerce. That's I am right. a diplomat. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Lions Club, the mm-hmm. rodeo. I mean, we we try to be in as much as we can because yeah. we we see the importance of that. And it's great. Great to great way to get to know people too is to be in, involved in the community. I grew up here, and there's so much I've learned just getting involved mm-hmm. that yeah. I had no idea about. Well, we can always plug you in everywhere and we're thrilled that the, the bank allows you to do that. So mm-hmm. that, that's a great thing. Tell us, um, what does Cadence Bank do really well other than let you be involved in the community? Um, I'm sure it's cliche and everyone would say it. I really think our customer service is, is second to none. Um, everybody at the bank is great at what they do. I really feel like that. Um, tellers. People ask for them specifically. They they love our tellers. Our loan assistants are the are the best. I mean, great staff. Mm-hmm. And, and and we have some real tenured staff. I mean, I have some that work for me that have been uh, with the bank for twenty five years. Wow, mm-hmm. that's a lot. You know, and so they know every customer that walk in mm-hmm. and and know them by name. Sometimes they even know how to put their account number in and what they're going to ask before they even get to the counter. Mm-hmm. So it's really important to have that that customer interaction, that that one on one touch. Mm-hmm. You know, and Cadence does that very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. So tell us a little bit about markets right so being in lufkin there are a lot of small markets uh, to be yeah. around and there are a lot of industries in the world who are getting out of the small market mm-hmm. game and uh you're doing that a little opposite uh, than everybody else tell us about that i think um when the merger happened bankrupt south had a had a great footprint in all the smaller communities and cadence has a footprint in larger metro areas and I think they realize the strength of both of those things. And it's like, let let us do our thing in the small markets, mm-hmm. helping small businesses. They realize that's the backbone mm-hmm. is is helping out small businesses. And they've really let us uh, kind of, I mean, decisions stay local. We, we know the business owner mm-hmm. and we know, you know, the decisions that need to be made and keep it in house and keep it local. Yeah. You know, it's so important for when a, when a big business comes in, mm-hmm. um, like you said, and that they allow the local people to make the decisions. Yep. Yep. It doesn't have to be done like every other right. business that they have. We know our customers. That's I right. mean, they, they call us, um, text us. I mean, they've got access. They're our friends. Yeah. I mean, and for, for good or for bad, <laughs> they, they have access to us. We're going to pick up the phone. If they call us at the office uh, and we don't answer, they're going to call our cell phones. Right. And um, that's a huge benefit. Yeah. Yeah. That helps a lot. So what do you want our listeners to know uh, about Cadence Bank? I think first off, you've really shed some light on the whole name change mm-hmm. thing that people may not have, have known. I didn't know about. Uh, but our listener and viewership, uh, what would you like them to know about the bank that they may not know? Um, 
we're here for them. Yeah. Um, same great service, different name. Um, getting it out there that we were the acquiring bank because some people yeah, I think thought that's important. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Some a lot of people thought, oh, y'all got, got bought, bought. Out. Yeah. and and which that's not a bad thing either. I'm not saying sure. other banks that have been bought out. Mm -hmm. It's it's necessarily bad, but it's the same process. You're still going to deal with us. You're still going to have a direct line to us. It's not it's not changed anything. Right. Um, made us stronger just through some assets that we have to draw off of now. Mm -hmm. That's great, but same great service. Yeah, really good. I agree. And two locations. Two mm -hmm. locations. Again, you're over I'm by Academy. In front of Academy, if you don't know. And then the other one is by the old dialysis center across yep. the street from Woodland Heights Hospital. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Close to the new post office yep, that's, that's been right. there for 20 years, but we call it the new post office. <laughs> <laughs> it is still the new post office. Yeah. 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 It's definitely exactly. a local thing. Well, oh, very good. Well, is there anything else y'all want to tell us about the bank or about what you do? No, we just we look forward to serving the community and helping them out and sponsoring things. I'm I'm super excited about sponsoring the uh, we're Cadence Bank sponsoring Angelina Benefit Rodeo. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is going to be a Recognize. great event. I'm excited. My favorite, you know, event, event. of the year. Yeah, it's um, a good one. Yep. yep. Put it on my calendar the other day. Yeah, definitely it stays mm -hmm. on my calendar. That's right. I'll be I'm first vice president for for Lions Club moving okay. into the president. So I've got a year to get comfortable on horseback so oh nice yeah oh that, i forgot so, that's a whole element oh, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah yeah i've thought about it i've had friends remind me of it don't forget you got to ride out in a year so yeah i'm gonna take start some, practicing yeah I'm gonna need so some do they provide you with a horse for that i've always found yes. that interesting okay you don't yeah. have to like go get you a horse uh, and saddle and get ready. <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be tough expensive. you're you know, you're really behind the eight ball then. we live downtown i don't know if we can get by with a horse in our backyard <laughs> be surprised you never know <laughs> that's awesome well, very cool well thank well, you so much thank y'all and thank Absolutely. you for all that you do for the chamber and for the community uh, we really appreciate your presence and your dedication to making Lefkin a better place to live, work, and play. So thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you all for awesome. your time. Thanks for coming on the show today. And thank you so much for listening to the podcast again this week. Go do us a huge favor. Rate and review the podcast wherever you're listening. It helps other people find the show that might be interested in the kind of stories that we tell every week. Thank you so much. And we will see you next week.